Andas is a brand owned by the Hyatt. You know, when the company like Hyatt say, you know, the whole world's creating a new brand and now we need another brand to compete. And I said, let me think about it. And I sort of wrote the DNA for a hotel for the future. And what is the hotel for the future? You know, we all know the hotel in the past is always about grandeur, it's about fantasy. But those days are gone. That's really, that's what this Andas is. Almost our take of bed and breakfast, our take of neighborhood inn, uh, our take on city place. I think the building, I mean, every building's got some soul in it. And when you go in there, the building will tell you what it wants to be. You can see, I don't have a vestibule. I have congregational spaces. We also collaborated with New York Library. So we sort of extended their library into our space. Then of course, bar. If I say bar, you say, oh, it doesn't look like a bar. Who said the bar has to look like a bar? And you're telling me you can't drink there? So why do we have this perceived notion a bar supposed to look like that? Same thing with a shop. If it is a restaurant, you say, oh, I don't want to go to a restaurant. It's only two o'clock. But if I say, let's go to the shop, have a cup of coffee, I think you can probably live with that. The same thing with this kitchen. We have it in the back or we have it in the front. So all I am doing is combining my real estate. I put it up in the front. You have people doing preparation in it. You can also use the space to congregate. Oftentimes you are in the hotel environment having a meeting. The meeting room means nine o'clock in the morning, you go into the meeting room, five o'clock, you're done. Then you go to the bar at six o'clock, have a beer, knock yourself out. Then you call it a day. Well, we say wrong. So we turn this meeting room into private dining rooms, right? Along with the kitchen, along with the bar, so combine all together, can we not make life on this floor?